Hey guys, John Adams, Modern Design Aquascaping. Our team builds custom ponds, fountains, and waterfalls out of natural stone and wood. My goal is to educate and inspire the world about ponds and water features. Today, we're working on seaming these two liners together, and it's a big thing that I see a lot of people do wrong, and I thought it'd be a great concept for a video. So I want to show you real quick what we're doing and how we're doing it so that you know how a liner should be properly seamed in the future. All right, kids, so it's hard to be energetic when I'm making a video about putting two pieces of liner together with some sticky stuff, but let me show you the tools that we use anyways so that you know how to get a, a liner seam done properly. So when we're seaming pond liners, these are the products that we use. This is a three inch double-sided tape. Obviously, it's because it's sticky on both sides. You'll see how we use that. This is a six inch cover tape, super thick awesome stuff glues your liners right together um, we've got primer this is the primer that i'm going to talk about the firestone uh, quick prime plus primer one thing i will tell you about this the guys from firestone told me make sure that you keep this stirred up a lot and don't shake it stir it slowly so you're mixing it but don't fill it full of air bubbles and you'll know why later when you go to getting all the air bubbles out of your seams after you put them together that's what we're gonna use this for. We have neoprene rollers. You don't have to use them. I've seen a lot of people just push the bubbles out with their hands and mash it down. I find that we're able to be faster and more efficient when we're doing large seams by having these neoprene rollers. They work real well. We've got these scrubber kits that we get through Aquascapes. It's basically like a Scotch-Brite pad and it sticks onto this plastic handle so it's a little bit easier to keep your hands out of stuff while you're doing the cleaning. <clears throat> One of the other things I like to use is we have scrap underlayment all over our job sites, guys, and I'm all about repurposing stuff. So instead of throwing these pieces away when we cut them off, we'll be throwing them in a bucket if we know we've got seam jobs coming up. Just when you fold it, a lot of times you'll have a lot of little hairs in this stuff. You do not want to clean your liner with something, especially with the sticky primer that's gonna just have hairy stuff stuck all over it. I've got paper towels here for the sake of telling you to use paper towels, but if you can use shop towels, use them. These are our basic tools. Obviously, when we're washing, we've got water bottles on site and we want to clean with clean water. I can't say clean enough times, but if we just take our razor blade knife, make a few holes, this is what we use just like this. This is our professional pond cleaning tools. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, to bring your bottled water. <clears throat> so clean it with that, scrub it with this, water, scrub, water, scrub, wipe it down with your towels until the towels are clean. If you're still getting mud when you're wiping your clean water off, you're not done cleaning yet. Get the liner 100% clean. We have taken these liners, obviously, laid them out in the, in the most optimal flat location that we can because that makes it easy to seam them together when they're, they've gotta be flat and smooth. We've laid these over so that we know we have the proper amount of overlap in order to do what we gotta do, and then we fold them back like this. We clean the inside using fresh water on both parts, get all of the sediments and soils, all of the talc dust that's on these things when you get them new, all of that's gotta be cleaned up. We're then gonna put a piece of double-sided tape. We like to double up on our seams just to make extra sure that nothing happens. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a double-sided tape. We're gonna roll out all the way across here, and then we're gonna fold these two clean pieces over top of that double-sided tape. That's gonna give us our seal number one, which is plenty to make it waterproof. Clean with water, prime with the Firestone primer. You wanna get it just to the right tackiness. When you, you want it to be sticky when you put your finger on it, but you don't want it so wet that it's stringy when you pull your finger up. So there's a right dryness on that primer. We're then gonna take a six inch cover tape and we're gonna seam over top of the two pieces again, all the way across. Everything perfectly clean, flat and smooth.
it's a piece of cake, man. It's a dirty job, just like about everything else we do. It's a dirty job, because you're going to get primer all over you. Your fingernails are going to be black. It's more fun than pond foam, I promise you. So if you guys learned something about seaming in this video, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up, because I make these teaching videos so that you guys out there in the world can build your water feature without making the same stupid mistakes that we've made over the years. So take our advice, do your seam right, hope everything works out for you. Subscribe to our channel, wherever, whichever, to my right, the subscribe button at the end of our video. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys later.